So since cutting this out, I've got my brother to hold, uh, drill a hole there. I think it's about three millimeter hole there. I'm not too worried about that hole. I have cleaned inside there to make sure that this moves really in there, which it does. And one of my relays, which I had, uh, you get these copper bits on them. So I took that off, flattened it a bit and um, drilled a hole in there. Now this is, I think it's two millimeter hole there. Uh, from this drill bit, it's just two, so I'm assuming it's a millimetre thing, and that's a smaller hole. So the idea now is to put that in there, and well, basically, the idea is to hold that in there somehow, glue that down, hold that in there, and make sure that's, that's held in there like that and glue it there. So that's the idea. So that hole will stay like this. That's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to glue it down. Uh, first I'm going to use uh, super glue. Then I'm going to have to use more stronger stuff to hold it down. So I'm making sure that hole is in line with that. So the steam can get through there. Also, I'm going to cut this piece here because the one side doesn't, it's a bit loose, this side's a bit loose, a bit loose, but this side is a bit more uh, sturdier. So I'm going to cut this, cut this piece there, somewhere around there, and drill a hole through there to put um, a paper clip or something so that can pull this back and forward and glue it down. So what I've done is I put that putty on all around. Hopefully it's totally sealed. You can see it, right? And this piston now is in there. A little bit stiff, I think, but if I do any more, it might be too loose. So we'll see how it goes. And I'll put a, a paper clip on, hook it on like that. This piston I've cut down. I glued this, but I'm not happy with the glue. So I'm going to see how strong it is. If anything, I'll have to alloy this uh, if it breaks down. But we'll just have a look if it works. Here, I have. Here, I have um, put a block there, a block here. What I had to do is mess about until. So that's why you see extra holes because mess about until I, I got it figured out rightish. As you know, I made this here, and if I can just take this off, a I had a, an idea. I thought, how am I going to, how am I going to? So this is my idea. I put this round, hooked it on with these things. Trust me, it took me loads to figure out how to do this, but anyway, it's done now. And I put this on there, so that will be that can be adjusted as well as turning. And the good thing about this, as you can see, I've, I made that before. The good thing about this um, is that I can adjust it, which is the brilliant thing, because I can adjust this accordingly, so this is 90 degrees. That is 90 degrees to this one. I know this is not very straight. It's a bit crooked, if you can see. But I'm not really worried about that. Because it's only going to hook onto one spot. And see if it works. So that can be adjusted like this to 90 degrees. This is going around nicely. That can be tightened. And I've also got a groove here in the pulley if I wanted to run something. If I wanted to run something. So I'm using my small one um, flywheel here. I have got a, a bigger one which I do fancy using to be honest with you. But I'll see how this works and if it works good we might use the large one next time around. But I have raised this up enough to put the large one in as well. Okay so I've made this, I had a small block here but I made this into length. I'm thinking um, this bit here needs to swivel. 
So this is going to go here like this. Uh, what I've done is I've found some old rubbish and I'm going to tape this down like that. So this can work like that. Now, the idea is not to have this as long as that. We'll have another one coming out from that. So I'll be cutting this down. And I got one of these um, blocks which I cut open like this. So that this, this will go inside there. And the other one also, when I cut it down, should go inside like that. And then I can adjust, I can adjust this piece as I need to adjust it. I'm doing the same thing on this side with this piston here. I think uh, I'll see when I, when I hook it up. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to do the same thing. So the adjustments are fine tuned. And once that works, let's see how it goes. What I've done is I fix this side here. Just a normal paper clip. I put a few washers there uh, inside there just to keep it away from the end there. And I put I cut one of these in half and put it on the end there. That kind of holds it there. So that's good. As you can see I fixed this on, it's quite firm, so I'm not gonna do no more to it. And I put some um like a WD40. Well, I've got maintenance spray, put that in there. What I'd like to show you, yeah. so what I've done is I've put maintenance spray in here and I found that when I put the maintenance spray in there and I push this in there to block the hole, this took a like, a like a suction in there. So I know this, this piston is working nicely as far as the suction goes. See, when you pull this out, it'll just come out. So the next thing to do is try it out. I've, uh, I've cut a bit of CD out and I cut it to like a 90 degree angle, rough, rough cut. So don't, don't uh, cut me on that one. And I put larger holes here because obviously I'm going to put a screw in there. I put smaller holes, a few smaller holes there. I just put a few here and there just to uh, make sure I have an adjustment of how this is going to go because I'm not sure where exactly this is going to be but I'm just going to try and error that and uh, basically see what happens then because once I once I put that in it should work in theory so what I'm figuring out is when I'm made this um, it's going to go like that so what I, what I did is I put that there and I put this on the farthest end and I put this here like this and I mark it obviously and made a bend, put a bend there so this will come this way like this um, eventually it'll come this way like this and this one here what I did is I put that in there because I marked it there what happens is if that pushes in further it will block the hole but this way here, right here, well, let me put it, we'll centralize it, sorry. So I put this one here, so this is right there, I'll mark it there. So when it's here, the steam can go through there, right? But when it's there, the steam will block and the steam will come out this way. Okay, this is what I haven't tested yet, where I'm gonna have to cut this a bit more because when it goes right through there, it needs to, steam needs to come out this way. So I'll have to test all that see how that works so when this is right up here this should push that far enough in to take the steam out we'll see soon the reason I'm doing this one now is because I can see that when I put this in here um, it's blocking this thing so it's not moving properly here what I'm going to do now is cut this wood right here cut this piece of wood here and I don't need that then this is this can move around freely like that. Okay. Okay, so I finished it and I put this there to adjust um, these things in case it needs to come out a bit more. 
I had to do another one of these because I broke it. And I made these holes a bit smaller so when this goes out here, it can actually come to the space I'm saying it should come. I tried to uh, uh, pump it with air, it doesn't work. And so what I've decided is adjustments needed. So this is very high, high angle. I'm going to lower this down so it's more levelish. So when this is there, it should be more levelish. In fact, lower it, lower it down. And then um, also the piston in here, I'm going to adjust. I'm going to adjust this piston here and find out exactly what the movement is between there and there, and decide how far the piston is going either way and cut it if I need to. So when it's, when it's out, when it's, sorry, when it's in there like that, it should uh, let the air out. When it's out, when it's out like this, sorry, when it's out like that, it should let the steam in as it were. Okay then, so a bit more experimentation to do and uh, sort it that way. So I've taken it all apart and everything else. Uh, as you can see, I've lowered this down. I've got a smaller piece there. But the reason I'm videoing this particular thing is for this piston. I've cut it and I cut it again just now. So I've only got that small piston there. And because I've tested it, what I did is I put a, a paper clip down here. Okay, so I put a paper clip through there and stop this from, sorry, it's the other one around. Stop this from going any further. Then I push that further down, put paper clip down there, pull it so that see if the uh, air or steam would come out this way. And obviously, um, it tells you that the length of the piston is the length of movement it needs to make to work that particular thing like that. So the smaller the piston, I only need to make a smaller movement like this in order for it to work. So that's where I am at the moment. Um, Try and see if it works or put it together. Hello again everyone. Um, so this is the finished product. I just like to go through a few things. I had to make this one again. What happened? The other one, while I was testing, the other one snapped there. So what I've done this time is I put uh, a couple of washers around it, super glued them. I've also put um, more of this uh, CD underneath there to kind of help it stay up a little bit. A uh, lot of adjustment had to be done here. I don't know if you can see. A lot of adjustments had to be done here in and out and this way. So this moves freely. So if I was you, uh, if you was going to make it, make sure that this, this part moves freely without connecting to there. And once that moves freely, then you can make sure this is moving freely and stuff like that. So, yeah, so it's not 100% uh, perfect, but it is, I think it's workable. Obviously, I super glued. So I super glued a little tube there, white tube, then I put this putty around it, then I had to find something else to uh, put into there, and this should go on my steam engine thing. I hope it does, I haven't tried it yet. So yeah, so this is it now. So remember this, um, this project took a bit of time I'm afraid. Um, I'm going to post some links uh, concerning this, um, what do you call it, plans for this engine. I'm also going to post a link for the piston because I didn't show you on this video but in my previous videos I showed you. So I'll post that link in case you want to know how to make the piston. And if I can do it, you can do it also. Okay, so let's have a go. So guys, I thought I'd test it with my pump uh, right here, this pump which I used before. I'm just going to test it out to show you. I found that in this position it works. So there you go. It's working fine. Now, just to let you know that this, I do, like I said, did it again. Um, to strengthen these and to adjust this here bar and when I found that these uh, pistons were sticking I had to take them out and just uh, use them because a little bit on them as well to take that away but at 
the moment as it is, we'll call this a success. If you like this, if you like this uh, project, uh, please subscribe, thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Leave a comment if you have any, if you have any new, new things you can tell us. Now don't forget, I want to, I want to say I'm going to, I'm going to leave a link uh, there for the plans where I got this from. There's no real uh, size and stuff mentioned at all. I'm also going to leave a link for the piston that I made last time on my one of my episodes. And you know something, if I can do it, you can do it also. Like I said, thank you for watching. Take care, bye.